Gastroesophageal reflux disease, or GERD, means that you have acid mainly going backwards from your stomach towards your mouth, up your food pipe. And so we worry about that because the acid in our stomach can be so strong that it can cause problems like ulcers within your food pipe. So GERD occurs when the muscle that sits between your food pipe and your stomach opens up at times that it shouldn't. And that allows this kind of backwards movement of acid towards your mouth. So we typically treat GERD uh, based on the types of symptoms you're having. So most people with GERD, they'll complain of chest pain. And of all the people that have chest pain with GERD, it's a very rare patient who will ever develop an ulcer in their food pipe. Usually their first thought would be to try acid blocking medicines that help to decrease the amount of acid that your stomach is making. So a lot of times we get nervous that perhaps the patient who has complaints of heartburn or chest pain or food getting stuck, that it's not really even an acid problem the way we think about in patients with GERD. And they have a condition called eosinophilic esophagitis or EOE. And that's really allergic irritation of your food pipe, but it can really give you the same symptoms that we hear in patients with GERD. And that's more common among boys and particularly boys who have other allergic problems like asthma or eczema. Eosinophilic esophagitis, or EOE, seems to be increasing in its prevalence. So we're seeing more of these cases than we ever saw before. And so to make that diagnosis, you would need an endoscopy where we take a small camera while the patient's sleeping and look into their food pipe to try and figure out, do they have an ulcer? Do they have irritation at all? And is that irritation allergic in nature?